I walked in on her cheating, having a threesome with somebody else. I witnessed, I witnessed with my own eyes. me so I had to find her somewhere else. Hey yo, Papi in the house, back at it again with another video of how women will continue to lose good men if they don't change their behavior, bro. Men are tired of dating this type of women. And as you guys know, the dating market nowadays is kind of trash. Dating nowadays is not as how it used to be. Dating is bullshit, to be quite frankly. You know, men are actually starting to wake up. They're actually starting to see women for what they are, how women behave, what women do, and everything in between. You know what I'm saying? So props to them, bro. Props to that. Now, the problem with this is the women now, you know, they're, they're gonna lose good men, bro. They're about to lose a hell of a lot of men if they don't wake up, if they don't smarten up. So that's what they do. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let's go. We come back from partying and we're like, well, let's stop and get some food at McDonald's. And uh, we're waiting in line and there's a car ahead of us. So she starts, I'm, I'm driving. She's in the passenger seat. She starts beeping my horn at them because they're taking so long. Mind you, it's like one in the morning, you know, so she sticks her head out the window. There was a girl in the driver's seat. She popped her head out the window and they're arguing back and forth. And I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Like, chill out. It's not that serious. You're starting shit with people for nothing. So they start arguing back and forth. And um, I eventually pull her back in the car. They go and they park at the end of the McDonald's in the parking lot, I could see him right at the end of the drive-thru. And I'm like, listen, we're just going to get our stuff and we're going to go. I said, don't do anything crazy, please. So the guy at the window, he says, is everything all right? You guys good? I'm like, yeah, everything's fine. We're good. So get our stuff. I go to pull around and just pass them. And as I, I pulling by them, I'm looking in my side view mirror. I see them throw a bottle at my car instantly. I'm like, it's go time. I threw my car in park. I reach in the back. I grab the wrench that I, cause I have tools. I hand her a wrench. You hand your girl a wrench. Yep. Well, I, in my mind, right. I'm thinking they have bottles. They have weapons. Like, you know, that's. <laughs> If it's going to be that to that extent, then we should be prepared. And no one's going to just throw shit at my car, you know, like. So we stop, <clears throat> we hop out. She runs over and she start. And mind you, I have a knife on me. So I pull my I brandish my knife and I say one on one because there was two girls and there was one guy. I didn't know there was even a guy in the car at the time. I just thought it was two chicks this is in the middle of the drive-thru well not in the middle of the drive-thru it was in the back in the parking lot um so they they start she runs up she hits her in the head with the wrench and the wrench at some point gets dropped and they're tussling they're fighting i have my knife out and the guy and other girl clearly see that like i have no let them fight no one's jumping you know let that be what it is and uh Someone drove by behind me and goes, yo, the cops are coming. I'm like, oh, great. So I go over there. They have each other by the hair at this time. And I go over there to grab her to get out of there. Now, I don't know if this guy thought that maybe I was going to do something else. Maybe, you know, try to stab somebody. But that was not my intentions. I'm on parole at the time, mind you. I'm trying to get out of Dodge. Like, let's go. So when I go over there, at some point in time, he picked up the wrench and cracked me over the two girls, hit me on the top of my head. And I saw a white flash. And when I came back to, I just seen him and I stabbed him in his head. I almost, if it was a little farther up, it would have been in his temple, but it was right about here. And it went into his skull and it lacerated his brain. Um... Yeah, it was pretty serious. But when he stepped back and he was like, why did you do that? And at the point in time, I didn't know I was leaking from my head. But I knew I got hit with something because I've been in fights. I've been punched, I've been punched by pretty big dudes. You know, I can take a beating, but that was not no punch in the head. I knew it instantaneously. So it's either, you know, 
fight or flight at that point for me. And I chose to fight back. So we end up getting in the car, running, getting in the car, drive down the street. I throw the knife out the window. We go to her house and I'm in full panic mode now. Like, great. They're, you know, they're going to find me. What am I going to do? I'm bugging on her. So we're at her house and I call one of my friends who still was up. He drove by the McDonald's. He said, bro, it's all taped off right now. There is about 20 cop cars there. I'm like, no, stop lying to me. He's like, no. I'm like, great. So now I'm thinking in my head, hopefully they don't know, like somehow link it to me. So I didn't, I didn't go to sleep either. And I'm just waiting and I'm waiting, waiting. They end up coming to her house. And you know how they found out that it, to come to her house? Because the guy, the manager who runs that McDonald's knew her by first name. And her name is, I'm not going to put her name out there, obviously, but it was a unique name that, and she's been in some trouble before. So they're like, well, let's go pop over her house and see what's going on there. So they show up and uh, I'm still leaking from my head at the time. And uh, they took us down to the police station and uh do they like swarm the house or are they treating you like a hostile it was only a couple uh cop cars because at the time they didn't you know they didn't have much to go off of you know the police were called somebody got stabbed and you know they didn't really have much to go off of so they pulled us down to the police station yeah so this video is kind of crazy bro like you guys see how this situation just escalated because of like that chick bro like she just couldn't be patient at the mcdonald's whatever drive through like she just had to start shit and the problem about this is you guys are gonna experience this type of situation in your life right when you're with a girl or whatever they're gonna start shit for no reason bro and they're gonna drag you into it things that you didn't even intend to get involved in the first place but you find yourself in the middle of something that that could have just been avoided altogether or could have been handled way differently you see most of the situations these chicks be putting you in are not even worth it you know and the way my dude here is speaking about it you know i was giving him props while listening to it i said yo this guy's mature at least this guy knows how to handle himself how to move and he was doing everything right up to the point where they were driving off and somebody threw a bottle on him and he decided to put his car in park and he's handing out these tools or whatever to go beat them up like bro that's where you messed up that's where you got me i don't know why you would do that in the first place because mind you you even said yourself that you thought they had weapons they had bottles and all this and that's why you're giving her this wrench you know to go and handle this situation it's like you guys realize that nowadays people just don't carry like bottles and pocket knives and all that right some people out here bro they be carrying like guns and bullets you know your life could have been on the line and imagine this luckily you guys survived hopefully the other party man nobody died and by the looks of it i mean you're not in prison so i'm guessing the other party lived but this could have gone a whole different direction you could have ruined your whole life at a mcdonald drive through all over just nonsense bro just because you guys are being petty or just because she's being petty she can't wait two minutes she has to start arguments for no reason and now you guys are in the middle of the situation right what if in the other cars there was more dudes than women you guys are lucky there was only one dude and two chicks what if there was like three dudes bro and one chick and you're just you and your girl how how's the fight gonna go you guys are gonna get jumped you guys gotta realize you know you gotta move different you can't let these women be out here wild and acting like potheads bro and dragging you into shit that you didn't even intend to get into because mind you you probably weren't even planning on and on on engaging in this type of thing your your mind was like yo i'm gonna go to mcdonald's i'm gonna get myself that junior chicken burger and a cup of fries and a you know diet coke whatever and i'm gonna go home and sleep <laughs> that was your mind bro now she's dragging you into a whole different bullshit and in the end you have the cops involved and or you're injured and the other party's injured like bro I hope you guys learn man i hope you guys really gotta take your life out here serious man just don't be trying to impress these chicks don't be trying to act like you're hard because you know everybody thinks they're tough when they're out there 
everybody thinks they're the toughest person out there but you don't realize what the other person has <laughs> you know you yourself have a you had a pocket knife yeah they had bottles you're lucky they had bottles because they could have had something way worse your life could have ended right there on that pavement so i mean yeah that's just something to think about but i realized man nowadays women will drag into all sort of situations you're just gonna maneuver smart all right you can be falling victims to this nonsense and their bullshit if they want to handle shit drop her off and be like you know what i'm gonna drop you you go handle it yourself i'm going home <laughs> you know what i mean if you think you're tough enough let me drop you i'm gonna go i'm gonna take my ass to sleep you do what you gotta do i'm not a part of it you should have told her straight up matter of fact this chick ain't even driving the car she, this is your car you're driving and she's acting like this bro i don't know man i don't know the type of girls you're hanging around with man sometimes bro it's questionable definitely questionable how do you feel about her having guy friends that's really cool I've always had guy friends. He's met every single guy friend I've had. I had girlfriends. Some of my guy yeah, friends guy has friends. literally watched his yeah. dog. So you don't care if she were to spend time with them one-on-one? -on -one? No, I think that's insecure if you do. How is that insecurity? How There's that no insecurity. insecurity. <laughs> I'm just secure with who I am. I'm secure in the relationship. And as long as you're secure in the relationship, everything works out. You don't think her being in that environment with another man one-on-one -on -one would create a bridge between you two? No, because at the end of the day, relationships are all about trust. And if you don't trust your person, you shouldn't be with them, right? So if you trust them enough to be in a relationship, in, in a one-on-one -on -one situation with a male figure or whatever, it doesn't really matter. If those friendships existed before me, who am I to say no, right? At the end of the day, as a man, it's about being confident. And if you're confident enough, it doesn't matter. Yo, this dude here has a really solid mindset, you know? You definitely don't want to be insecure when you're dating, man. You definitely don't want to show that. You don't want to show the fact that you're scared to lose your girl to another dude, you know? So that I agree with him. But this whole point of your girl being friends with dudes and you're all cool about that, bro, trust me, at the end of the day, no matter what happens, you guys have arguments. No matter if you leave the city for a little bit, you go with your family to vacation to Mexico and you leave your girl you know in the country for like two weeks where you're gonna come back you're gonna be shocked at the things you find out you know what i'm saying so at the end of the days girls and dudes cannot be platonic friends bro you cannot be unless the guy is not straight in this case he has to be gay you know he has to be into other dudes bro for for it to work but you're telling me a girl being friends with just guys no no it doesn't work bro it doesn't work now the only way this could work is if this is like a couples you know couples friends type of thing like you know what i'm saying like you and your girl and you got another dude and this girl and you got another dude and his girl and then yeah yeah you guys can be friends no problem and another thing here i know what he pointed out is like yo okay she might have been friends with some dudes before he started dating her but at the end of the day man the problem about this is once you start dating she has to put limitation to these dudes she cannot be talking to them the same way hanging with them the same way like she did when she used to be single no now she's in a relationship so now she has to respect you you're her man you know so if she has this type of friends and she want to hang out with them whatever they can only hang out with her when you're present you know you're not telling her you'll cut off your friends cut off this and that no if these are her childhood friends whatever no problem they want to go they want to see her they want to go you know get lunch whatever you have to be alone with her on the table you know what i'm saying it's not insecurity guys i don't care what women tell you oh you're being insecure no 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 no. you gotta be smart you're a man you know how men move right women on their part may think this is just a platonic friend this is just my good friend but the other guy on the other end he doesn't think the same way he's not thinking the same wavelength he wants something deeper I guarantee you there's always out of these dynamics right this dynamic duo where a girl is friends with a dude that dude always 90% of the times they want something deeper with a girl or they had a crush on her or they're just waiting for a window you know the girl might have friends on him right on her part yeah she's like oh he's my friend but would he say the same thing about her no hell no bro you know like I'm telling you they've, they've done experiment about these right where the girl calls the guy who she's friends with and pretends that she's all single now and she wants to see him this and that and then you have dudes out here expressing their feelings how they've liked them for years and how they've been waiting for this moment just to take their shot you know what i'm saying like you can't make this up but this is a thing girls don't understand because when you voice this out they're going to think you're insecure you know and i used to actually think about it this way too right i used to never care if a dude if a girl hangs out with a dude 
I used to be like, yo, I'm, I'm secure in myself. You know, she can do her own thing. I don't give a shit. But then I came into this realization, right? The girls, they go out to hang out because they think, oh, we're just friends or this and that. But the dudes are going to hang out with a different mindset, right? They're not looking at it like I'm hanging with my friend. No, they're going to be like, I'm going to see if I can take my shot today. I'm going to see if, you know, I can make something happen, right? And before you know it, things go down. That's where the girl comes. Oh, I didn't know. Blah, blah, blah. He was my friend. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you're in a situation, for example, like, what if she's drunk one night, right? And she doesn't want to trouble you. She calls her friend to pick her up. And all of a sudden, she goes to sleep over at his house. The next morning, she wakes up all of a sudden in the bed and no, no clothes, nothing. How are you going to react, bro? How are you going to react? Like, you knew. You had an intuition that this might have gone down. But it was your fault. It wouldn't have been her fault. It was your fault to let her still be friends with other dudes right so at the end of the day you cannot blame her even if she cheats and you let them be still friends with other dudes you cannot blame her because it's your fault you allowed this into your relationship so i would say man relationships that come with boundaries and you gotta lay out those boundaries if she doesn't want to respect that boom then you know what you're out of the picture you do not want to enforce anything into her you gotta be moving with your own boundaries yeah your own standards she can't be out here, bro, making him look like a clown. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's that. Ruth, can I ask what's the most expensive gift you've gotten? I don't know. Hold on. I've I've been like taking like shopping. Oh, so, like yeah, get yeah, whatever you want. Yeah. Damn. I was like, oh, yeah. Damn. Damn. Yo. I, I was like thinking like one thing. He's like, no, like get whatever you want. Wow. Where is he? Dude, in that situation, wow. is there a limit you set yourself to, or are you actually like fuck it? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna like spend like a K like in one store and be like oh, expecting it. Yeah, yeah. I'm still like consider it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would spend a couple yeah. racks, bro. If a girl, ah, you would. <laughs> It, bro. Was, it was crazy because like I felt bad because it's like you know like guys they just sit down on the couch like Aresia. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't want him to wait, so I just picked like two things. But then I think like he's pretty smart, so he knew like what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. So he just went to the cash register and then like bought like the max you can put on a gift card. Oh. Yeah. And, I, and then he was like, oh like I know like you probably like. Yo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, like yeah, I was like. Dude. That's very thoughtful. That like, I didn't even wow. think of that shit. Yeah, that's the? like wow. green flag for me. Yo, yeah. what happened yeah. with that guy, bro? <laughs> He's my boyfriend now. Oh! Okay. oh, good, good, good. Her boyfriend really set the bar on this one, right? Like, you really think she genuinely with him for him? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think she with him because of his credit card, man. She's enjoying life right now. And who would blame her? Like, if you're a random girl out here and you meet a dude, then he's just telling you, buy whatever you want out of the store. Like, get whatever i don't care about the price limit you know it's on me of course you're gonna enjoy life you know matter of fact i would, I would have told her she's stupid if she's not dating this dude right because this dude has already set the bar up there bro she's now being spoiled and pampered like a little brat and the problem about this is a lot of guys do this they think the higher the price tag the more enough she'll be with them right the more strong her feelings will be for him that's that's what the guys mindset nowadays but yo on the funniest part these women they be cheating on these type of guys with guys that don't even have money in the first place guys that won't even take them to mcdonald's and buy them a dollar menu item bro <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like i was gonna cry for my guy here if i found out that he did all of this effort and she decided not to date him or she took him for a sucker you know what i'm saying like i'm glad they're in a relationship hopefully the relationship is solid and not a toxic one where just he has to always go and spend and buy her expensive shit hopefully she actually is generally in it for him but if she's not i wouldn't be surprised because my dude here started this relationship with the bar already raised up there bro you know and i i really advocate for guys not to be doing this type of stuff like you can buy gifts no problem but do not make the gift make the relationship you know what i mean do not your money make the relationship you know it's always great to buy gifts where you both can enjoy like if you buy a trip for you guys to go somewhere no problem right and or if you guys do some activity and you pay for that activity that's even better rather than you going and spoiling her and buying her nonsense unless she's your wife but even then man in modern age bro you already even know <laughs> these wives nowadays bro they ain't like how they used to be so i mean it's all you call the shots you know if you have the money to spare the money to throw around it's on you bro but at the same time, bro, just watch out. Be careful. Because I cannot tell you what to do with your money, right? All of you can spend your money however you see fit.
but I'm just saying man like yo you're working hard for that money <laughs> and you're just spoiling it out on her and especially if she doesn't deserve it what is she doing to earn that that type of luxurious gifts or that type of energy from me? what is she doing she has to do something to deserve that like you know what I'm saying like if she been cooking and cleaning and she been working really hard and supporting you with your business then yes by far it means you can just go and treat her right right go buy her a few gifts but if she's just doing nothing and she's just existing and you're always buying her gifts to hell with you bro i don't know man <laughs> good luck with that chris is cute but he's a little too light for me i'm gonna have to say pass i don't like no dancing nigga drake chris is talented too drake is talented pass the rock pass is everybody light skin they clone jamie though so i'm I'm, I'm at the pass i don't know if it's the real one or not Michael B. Jordan, I, you know what? They say Michael B. Jordan is cute, and to most women he is, but he's never been cute to me. That's a pass. <laughs> oh, you funny. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart has a nice face, but he just does not make the cut. He's a little too short there. Man, I like a strong man. The way uh, Jada done broke Will down, baby, I'm gonna have to pass on that. Oh, baby! Ain't no question, baby! We gonna run it up! I'm cuffing him already. I let Patrick know when we first started dating, nigga. If I run across him, I'm out of here. Hey, please, I'm gone. I love you, baby, but I love Nas too. So this girl here now, she's rating all these dudes, man. Oh my God, bro. Look at all these passes, bro. Oh, wow, bro. Like, look at these standards. Like, look at AR. His standards are raised so high on this one. Like, it's always so funny how girls be disqualifying dudes left right and center like you can't even you can't even be too short you can't be too tall you can't be too light you can't be too dark you can't be too poor come on bro like what is this and what is she even bringing outside of her face you know her pretty ass face whatever and i used up coochie what is she bringing to the table you know you see how she's disqualifying all these men she hasn't even talked to a single man she hasn't talked to drake she hasn't talked to will smith she hasn't been on a date with whatever michael b jordan like you know what i'm saying like she's already disqualifying them based on appearance what if the guy she picked he ends up being the worst of them all like he has no personality whatsoever yeah he got the looks but he's like a like a dry wall you know what i mean like he's not interesting what if all these other dudes are interesting? You know, you got Kevin Hart, Mr. Funny Guy, you got Drake, Mr. Singer, you got Chris Brown. Come on, bro. These are all different characters. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, women out here just like to disqualify. They like to look for something wrong with a person without even getting to know the person. Like, you know, they should. This is where the line comes where it says, do not judge a book by its cover, which is so true. Because you're judging everybody by the cover, but you don't know. Because a lot of people have a lot of dark shit inside, and you're not going to find that out right from just looking at them you know what i'm saying you're gonna find this out after like a year of dating not even the first two weeks after a year you're gonna start noticing all these crazy ass red flags and you're gonna be like oh my god how did i get myself into this meanwhile you're just following the looks right that's what happens that's what you get so i mean it's your standards your preference you do you but i'm just saying man these kind of standards are out outrageous man they're crazy you know because at the end of the day i don't even know what she's bringing to the table for her to be disqualifying these men like that like at least if you know you can sing you know you are tall then yeah definitely you have those metrics so you can compare it with another person you know what i'm saying so i don't know man but like the standards nowadays dating standards they're they're outrageous recently made a video about these two girls that were bullying and mocking a guy in their gym that was just trying to work out They sent me a DM telling me to take down the video. I responded with what any intelligent, handsome man would respond with, and that was... I can't breathe when you're not there. The town of Yapsville needs their mayor back. I have good news and I have bad news about this whole situation. The good news is, this guy sent me a DM. He's friends with the manager, and they got kicked out of the gym. Bad news is, after hearing this, I uh, pooped my pants out of pure excitement, and I have no one to change my diaper. Does anyone want to do that? Uh, Ma Mason, you want to change my diaper? Yes! Yes. I gotta give props to this guy man at least he's calling it out for what it is like this type of behavior has been trending online especially coming from women bro females be out here on these apps like tiktok and trying to just make fun of men and put men down and just shame men and all this and that and 
<laughs> when that energy doesn't go their way it's so funny how they try to victimize themselves so these girls they're literally bullying this guy and when this energy flips around and comes back their way in the type of way that they don't want all of a sudden they're the victim all of a sudden now they're trying to clean up their act like bro why would you do that in the first place what did this guy do to you he's doing his own workout his money his own thing but you're trying to make fun of him for the sake of clout for the sake of views for the sake of you know to get your comments rolling in in the end when you have some when you have a man who's decent enough to call it out for what it is now all of a sudden you are begging him to take the video down and you're saying it was taken out of you know proportion and all this and that but i'm pretty sure you knew what you were doing considering how you labeled the video what you were doing even though you claim it's just one and joke between you and your friend you didn't have to have my guy in the background like this you could have done it at any other different day when he wasn't at the gym you could have done it at your house you could have done it anyway but you just had to do it with him in the background and you're just laughing at it like it's funny like you know this is how desperate you are for online attention and now when other people are literally doing what you were doing to him like by bullying you and threatening you all of a sudden you're the victim you know you're getting threats all this and that but all of a sudden everybody's supposed to feel sorry for you <laughs> it's it's really outrageous bro it's ridiculous how women be behaving just because they're good looking out here they think that they can do anything without consequences no you're gonna get consequences to your action bro not some dudes ain't just gonna sit there and let you just do what you want to do you know they're just gonna call it out for what it is and if you're getting this type of attention it's because you deserved it you called it out you wanted this type of attention right you wanted attention well you're getting it now so props to him for not even backing down and props to my guy here for still sticking for the men's out there and for refusing to take this video down and for at least shedding attention into this, you know. I walked in on her cheating, having a threesome with somebody else. I witnessed, I witnessed with so my you own eyes. Me so I had to find it somewhere else. This last one just had me, man. Like, you know, imagine. <laughs> Just imagine this, like you're you're out there slaving, bro, like 12 to 15 hour days, bro. You're working so hard to pay the bills and you come home and you find your wife out here with like two other dudes in bed, bro. <laughs> Man, this is a joke, you know what I mean? Like, and the fact that she's unapologetic about this, like she hasn't even said sorry. She's trying to blame him. She said, yo, I was looking for whatever satisfaction and you weren't giving it to me and I got it from somewhere else. Like, I mean, I guess, I guess, you're, at least you're keeping it real, but at the same time, this is not the way to go about it. You could have at least broke up with him. You know what I'm saying? You could have at least literally do it even, <laughs> not even like saying what she did was right, but I'm saying like the fact that at your own home, your own man just comes and finds you at, the, at your own house doing this type of foolishness. At least you could have done it outside in a grungy ass motel or something, but you had it no decency. It's almost as if you wanted to get caught. You were doing this on purpose. You wanted him to just walk on you. And then I gotta say, I gotta say this to my guy, like, what were you thinking? How are you even still with her? Like, how are you even still communicating with her? Man, should have kicked her out that house the first day you ran into her doing this type of shit because this girl is for the streets she belongs in the streets literally like even the tone she's using with you she has no respect for you and and matter of fact right now you're lucky that this is not your baby this is not your son because now you're clean now you can erase her just like how you you erase your history on your phone you can erase her from your life and start over again Cause like I think you can do better, honestly. Like a woman looking like this and doing this type of foolishness to you, bro, you didn't deserve this. This is so uncalled for, man. But at the end, man, you you dodged a bullet because if you had a son, if this was your son, you would have been crossing paths with her so many times. Cause you know she has to be present in the child's life, and you have to be present in the child's life. So you guys would have been still communicating here and there for the sake of the child. But now you have nothing to worry about, and you don't even have to reach out to her anymore. Like you guys is relationship or whatever you had the bond are the lines are severed now right now you can start fresh start over right because this woman man what she's doing here this is disgusting and not only that it's just disrespectful as a man you shouldn't have your woman be doing this type of shit to you even those two dudes <laughs> that were in your house doing this to her like they're now like they don't look at you like you're the man of the house now you know like this is how dudes be moving too you know if they can just disrespect you on this type of level i mean mind you it's not their fault but at the same time it's like bro they would even tell you like what are you doing <laughs> this girl is not for you 
you know what i'm saying but anyways guys that is the video guys let me know down in the comments what y'all thought about this without further ado make sure to click the like button subscribe and poppy is out catch you next time easy